So here's the thing about our businesses, about our life for that matter. A lot of times when we're starting something new or trying to build something, the hardest thing is starting at the beginning of the year looking at this whole year that we have to go. Whereas you set up a goal to make 100 grand or 200 grand or a million bucks or whatever that is. Then you also maybe have a fitness goal to lose 50 pounds. The art of losing 50 pounds does not come in 12 months, okay? Share with you a quick story. A gentleman came to me and wanted help losing weight. Ironically, he, was, he wanted to lose 55 pounds to get down to, two, he was 255 and wanted to get to 200 pounds. So Nick, I'd love for you to help me. How do I do it? I've heard about your challenge. I said, great, let me run you through the 30-day challenge. We try to take on these goals without a clear, concise plan of how to get there, okay? So let me give you guys a gift. This is my 30-day challenge. It's the Triumph Life 30-day challenge, and here's what it simply is. This gentleman, instead of going to lose 250, or instead of losing 55 pounds, or instead of going and selling 30 homes, or going and making 300 grand, what you have to do is focus on your daily habits and rituals to get there, okay? So what we had him do, his 30-day challenge was very simple. Work out three times per week over 30 days. Not the greatest at math, but three times four is 12 workouts. So all he had to do was go work out 12 times, three a week. Now in his mind, what's different? 55 pounds and all the stuff that's gotta go into that or three workouts a week. So we put him on that plan. At the end of 30 days, he had worked out 12 times. Had a ton of momentum, because now he's over the hurdle. The hard part of getting started, building that momentum. I mean, who's there right now? Like, dude, that's like a lot to do. Hear me out on the 30 day challenge. He started this. At the end of 30 days, he lost eight pounds. Eight pounds. You might be like, well, not that much. To him, might as well have been 80. But more importantly, though, who lost the eight pounds? He did. Not some trainer, not some external thing. There was no post. There was no thing. He had finally gotten started and did it and had energy and had momentum. And he did another 30 and another 30 and another 30. Six months later, 200 pounds on the dot. How? We have a fear of getting started because it's something we've never done before. But to do something we've never done, guess what? Done. We have to do something we've never done. So here's what I want you guys to do. In your business, what is something you can commit to for the next 30 days? In 30 days, what you, could you commit to? And let me give you a couple pointers. It's got to be, be clear, concise, and trackable. Nick, in the next 30 days, I want to work more. Huh? You go do a little bit of work and you're there. Versus, hey, over the next 30 days, I'm going to post on Facebook every single day for 30 days. It's quantifiable and it's trackable. So at the end of 30, what would you see? 30 times. Hey, Nick, over the next 30 days, I'm going to call 25 of my past clients per week. Quantifiable. At the end, there's 100 phone calls. Hey, I'm going to do two videos on Facebook a week. I'm going to do a Q&A for home buyers twice a week. Cool. Is that clear and concise and trackable? Over 30 days, that's eight. So could you commit to that? So I want to give you guys this 30-day challenge system. Find something in your business that you can commit to for 30 days and go all in on. You put on the blinders, you focus on the 30-day challenge. Guys, the 30-day challenge can and will change your life. For me, I shared with you guys my story of my accident being paralyzed from the waist down. Well, what people don't know is the actual real story of how I built that back up. So what had happened for me was I, was, I had hit rock bottom. I had analyzed what was working, what wasn't, and I had to look at my current situation, and it sucked. I was out of work for six months. Financially, what happens when you lose hundreds of thousands of dollars? What happens when you can't physically go show and, show and sell homes? I had lost everything. Physically, mentally, I was out. I teach a 30-day challenge. So I said, Nick, how blessed are you to be standing at rock bottom, at the bottom of a mountain, and have the opportunity to put yourself through your own 30-day challenge? So what actually happened was I moved to San Diego for 30 days. People see me on Instagram and they think it's so flashy, you're living by the ocean and this was a big plan. It wasn't. The plan came up on December the 28th, three days prior to the new year, as I was analyzing how far I had to go and I had to make a change and I had to do something different. So I rented an Airbnb in San Diego for 30 days. That's the real story, just so you guys are aware. Instagram and Facebook is like, oh man, freaking Nick moved to the beach, you earned it. Bullshit, I didn't earn anything. I crawled to San Diego with a trash bag full of clothes and stayed in a studio guest house in some guy's backyard. Instagram versus reality. I'm gonna share with you guys the real story. My 30 day challenge at that time was this. Nick, you, are, uh, you have hit bottom health wise. Cool, there's one way up. You gotta go tie your shoes, son, you gotta do the run. So my 30 day challenge was very simple. Go on one run a morning at 7 a.m. Clear? Yes. Concise? Yes. 30 days. So what I did was I got this silly little wall calendar. 
magnet that went on my fridge. And every day, a red X meant I went on my run. And did it suck? Yes, at first I could barely run down the block, I mean hobbling down the street. But day one, day two came, day three came, one other red X, another red X, another red X. Barely hobbling turned into a half a mile run. Half a mile run turned into a mile run. Does that make sense? And about week three, I started to get a little momentum. I had to start started burning some calories, losing some weight. I felt great. The power of the 30-day challenge lies in clear on one area of your life, going all in on it, and doing something for 30 days. And all I had to do uh, was every night get to my calendar and put a red X on it. Put a red X on it. Guys, I'll tell you this. This was really, really cool. At the end of the 30 days, i just been running every morning, 7 a.m., go on a run, 7 a.m., go on a run, 7 a.m., go on a run. It just became a robot. I was living in a 24-hour window, okay? At the end of the 30 days, about February the 2nd, I had gone on a run at 7 a.m. And one mile, I wasn't breathing too hard. This is somebody that could, guys, I was paralyzed from the waist down, not knowing if I was going to walk again. I hit a mile, and I'm, I mean, how proud was I? Oh, my God, I did a mile. I kept going. I did another mile. Got two miles in. 30 days ago, I couldn't do crap. I kept going. I got to mile three, and I'm just like, I'm still moving. I had in some inspiration. I'm like, could you go any farther? I got to mile four, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I don't think I've run four miles in my entire life, right? Let alone like in this 30-day window. It's the power of the compounding effect of daily disciplines. I hit a five-mile run that morning, and I was running on this little trail kind of by the ocean, and I stopped, and I just lost it. I, I just started bawling hysterically because I had come so far. And what I realized at that point in time, though, is I didn't do anything special. A mile a day is 12 minutes, maybe less, maybe more, 20 minutes. Can you give your business 20 minutes, your health 20 minutes? And that over 30 days turned into a five mile run. So when we get into the 30 day challenge, look at this in your business. You can transform your business in 30 days because that journey of a mile a day, as small as that sound, let a year later, guess who's down 55 pounds now? Guys, that story I shared with you was me. I'm the person that's down 55 pounds. I'm the person that lost eight pounds in the first month. And if I had never started a small little 12 mile jog a day, a year later, it's put me on a completely different trajectory for my life, for my journey, and for my path. Go and fit into skinny jeans again, right? Little things like this. But I share with you guys the 30-day challenge. Look at your business, though, and analyze your business. Can you run a 30-day challenge simultaneously for your business and for your life? Yes, I'm in the middle of my own 30-day challenge right now, okay? I love it. And I want to share with you guys this gift. <laughs>